Yo, what's going on, folks? It's Justin Charnell here. Uh, talking real quick about... Actually, probably not going to be real quick. It's going to be talking about, you know, you got a website. It's up to 30, 50, 100,000 visitors per month. You've done the affiliate marketing thing. Uh, you kind of have your own products or whatever the case is. You kind of want to branch off into getting banner ads, uh, not just, you know, retargeted ads uh, using the many programs that will offer that uh, solution for you. But, like, actually industry or actual industry, um, you know, either companies, B2B or B2C that you want to reach out to and that you know are paying for advertising right now. I know it's a, it's it's really, I mean, it's super easy to sit there and go, I'll just get the, you know, media.net or, or whatever, just throw them up there, have the, have Google, have the AdSense. But these are, we're talking about Companies in your industry, whatever it is, whether you're a national, uh, you know, a national magazine online or like an authority website, or you could be like a local, like, you know, for your city news, whatever the case is. So kind of just run a whole gamut on how you can find those companies um, that you know are paying uh, and kind of just, we won't really talk about pitching. Uh, this is more about the research phase. So first thing you want to do. Uh, assuming you, you, you know, you, you, you barely know anything about your industry as far as advertising goes, you're not in advertising at all. So this is all kind of new to you. Um, you've never, you know, sold ads for a website before or anything like that. Uh, this is kind of bare bones, basic research, um, for somebody that's kind of like lost or like, I don't know what my next steps are. Here's what your next step is. Um, so first we're going to, we're going to look at example media kits, um, from other companies in in industry and a media kit is basically what they send to companies that want to do advertising on their website or magazine or whatever whatever the case is and just talk about the demographics and psych psychographics of their audience the, the volume um you know kind of what what their editorial calendar would be if they're if they're a print magazine or if they kind of have like a seasonal things for the website as far as content goes and also what the rates are, how much people have to pay to advertise uh, either in the print, you know, or with banner ads, whatever, CPM, uh, cost per, it's, it's cost per thousand. The M is, I think it's Latin, Mille or Mila or whatever. Um, cost per thousand uh, views. So for every 1,000 impressions that an ad gets on their website, they pay that company X amount of dollars. So what you want to do and I'm just going to use uh, this industry as an example. This is not my niche. Uh, it was for a little bit, uh, but I got out of it. Uh, and I just happen to have uh, a couple magazines that uh, are in the niche laying nearby. So you want to type in uh, file type PDF. And what this will do, I mean, it's pretty, I mean, for the technically unsavvy, here's what it is. It's only going to search Google for PDFs. It's not going to find websites. Um, a lot of companies that have their media kit as a PDF. Um, some companies have it just as a page on their website. PDF is easier to transport, easier to just say, hey, here's the media kit, here's the link, download it, look at it, you can print it off, whatever. So you want to look file type PDFs and you just want to media kit, um, you know, whatever industry you're in. So I'll just go fashion. Uh, just because, like I said, I got a couple magazines sitting right next to me. Um, that's kind of like part two of this kind of session. Um, in quotes, I, I type in rate card because sometimes they don't include the rate card, which is how much they're charging. And this is kind of like what you this. At this point, you want to do two things. You want to figure out a what people are like willing to pay as far as companies go, what like the industry standard is, and B, get an idea of what your media kit could look like. At this point, you really don't need a, uh, some of these are gonna be like 10, 15, 50 pages um, with just huge amounts of pictures, that much in, uh, content on the page. You don't really need that. You can do a one or two pager, um, kind of just starting out until you can you know make the money to hire somebody to do it for you or you know, if you're a graphic artist, you have the time to do it, do it, whatever. Rate card and also uh, CPM because sometimes the rate cards are only for uh, print. So and when I put in quotes, it's looking for this, like specific, I probably don't need CPM in quotes um, just because it's one, it's one word, but rate card will find only when rate, 
card are together, not rate at one point card over here. It's rate card. So we're going to do a search for that. Um, we'll just kind of open up a few of these. And then uh, kind of look at them, kind of look at what they got. So, I mean, this is what a Mary, Mary Claire media kit uh, and rate card 2016. It doesn't matter if it's older or not. You're kind of just getting an idea of, you know, what's going on here. So this is kind of nice because it's right at the top here. So readership, circulation, uh, CPM, you're looking at $53, but it's an Australian dollar. So uh, if you're in the U.S., you're going you're gonna to have to bust out that old uh, conversion um, to see, you know, how much it is USD or whatever, you know, if you're out there in Hong Kong, you got to convert it over to what Hong Kong won. I don't know what the, uh, the currency is in Hong Kong, but you can see like, okay, here's the reach, uh, about 175 million or 175,000 people, uh, read the website. So 175,000 times about, I don't know what, it, I, I'm just going to go with the 53. You're looking at, 175 because it is uh, you're only taking a thousand or it's for every thousand so 175 times 53 9,000 9,200 bucks uh, to post you know depending on what they're charging it really depends so okay 53 for this one Santa magazine uh, kind of a super niched down um, that's okay uh, if you if you this this also works for yeah like I said local um, you know, if you're like, okay, San Diego magazine, they're only talking about San Diego, uh, scroll down, find the, let's see, that's for the print online rate card, $15 CPM. So yeah, $15, $15, $15. Okay. Not a big deal. Uh, this one I looked at and that's why I was dropping Hong Kong earlier, but it's also in Hong Kong dollars. I don't know. People magazine. Um, yeah, this is, well, this is pretty, pretty big, uh, as far as whatever, um, this does not look like it's where the hell is this even at i don't know it's not in usd so i don't want to see it here we go high snobiety media kit 2017 this is a pretty good example and i can also you know translate this into my next uh next uh lesson so to speak at the second half of this video so like i was saying this one's one of those that just has a shitload of pictures and not a lot of information on each page and it's super long but you know, 14 million visits per month on highsnobiety.com. 49, what, okay, don't need that. 62 million page views per month. So let's just assume that half the people have ad blockers, half of them don't. So they're getting 31 million impressions per ad spot per month. So you sit here, social does, I mean, at this point, it doesn't really matter. I'm sure if you're only getting 50,000, you're probably only at 500 people on your, on your, uh, social media sites or social media pages they have their uh, demographics right here um, blah 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 more information more information what they'd like who uh, some of the people they worked with here we go where they have their ads at blah, blah blah doesn't really matter rate card so you want the leaderboard which is 728 by 90 at the top of the uh, page, $15 CPM. Uh, what was it? 31 million page views per month. So 31,000, uh, cause you're going to divide that by a thousand times 15. So you're looking at about $500,000 a month for that leaderboard. What's nice about all this is, so you kind of got a baseline. Okay. You want the leaderboard 15, the others, uh, there's some other like fashion, uh, we'll go women's fashion. There's a few like Fashion Magazine, I think, had a good one. Um, and this is all kind of like off the cuff, so that's why I'm like kind of having trouble finding some of these things. Let's see, they're, they're 30, 50, 40, uh, right over here is the rates for their online advertising. I'm pointing at it like you can see me pointing, and I apologize for that. So, leaderboard over here is $30 CPM, but they're also, you know, more focused, so to speak. They're, they're like 79%. Oh, 81% female audience that got almost 500,000 unique views. So we'll just say 250,000 impressions. Um, 250 times 30 for the leaderboard. That's the 
the lowest, you're still looking at you know a cool 7,500 bucks a month if, if my math is right. It's all off the cuff stuff, so I apologize. If if nobody was using ad blockers, it'd be you know what fifteen thousand dollars a month. So you kind of have a baseline. You kind of figure out you know at least if you're in the fashion in, uh, niche or industry, you're looking at about fifteen to fifty um, as your CPM. And you know the more niche down and focused you are, the higher you can go. If you're a general, if you're a you know to put it into uh, as far as companies go in, in, in brick and mortar if you're a walmart you're only gonna be able to charge 10 or 15 because they got everything there you, can, you really don't have a a super hyper niche down focus they sell everything or whatever but if you're a mom and pop um you know you go to you go down to that to that to that hipster side of town and you get all those mom and pop shops um started by you know 33 year old housewives you uh i guess just mom shops not mom and pop shops you go in there and they're charging the same thing you get at Walmart for ten dollars. They're charging twenty dollars for because what they have in there is super niche down, and you know that when you go in there, you're gonna find stuff for women's fashion or whatever case is. So that way they can charge fifty because it's a women's fashion site. It's eighty-one percent women. They're gonna go there. They're gonna see your ad and they're gonna buy your stuff. So if you're a woman's fashion brand, you can you know get hyper focused. Uh, a hyper focused audience looking at your stuff all the time or whatever so if you're even if, if you even, even if you're only getting fifty thousand but then you're like maxed out you're peaked that's how many people are in your industry you're looking at uh i don't know coin collectors you know something something like coin collection i don't know how many coin collectors are but i can't imagine it's a big um industry or as you know i can't imagine there's there's a lot of coin collectors out there in the world uh, I'm sure there are as far as actual volume goes, but compared to the rest of the internet, coin collection is very, very small. So <laughs> you might be getting 50,000, but if there's only 100,000 coin collectors in the world, like, and, and it's, everyone is coin collecting, blah, 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 this, that, and the other, really spend money, you can charge 50, 60, 70 um, CPM, and companies will buy that because they know that the people that are going to your website are exactly what they're looking for or like it's a, there's a strong correlation between the two now how do you find these companies that you know will pay 45 dollars cpm 60 dollars cpm um well one you can just go to their websites uh i, I don't think i have ad blocks on here so yeah okay so Saks on Fifth Avenue, they will pay for it. You know, they'll they'll drop. Uh, what is it? What is this? The how much is that? I don't know. We'll just say it's the sixty or uh, you know forty five dollar. Uh, so for every thousand people that look at this, they're paying forty five dollars because they have it like that. They're okay with that. Like they know that they're gonna get a big return on that. So you can go to the website and look at what they're doing. Um, see the ads. There it is again. Uh, there it is again. They are just there. It is again. They're they're not they're not messing around. Saks on Fifth Avenue is dropping some bills um, because they know that high snobiety is all about fashion and, and streetwear and shit. So they can look at it and go, "This is what this is what I want to do. I'm not subscribing to that shit." So you can look at it and go, "Okay, well." Research wise, I got one company. You write it down, Saks Fifth Avenue. Okay, that's that's one company that you're gonna reach out to. Let's go to let's let's I mean, let's look around a bit. Saks on Fifth Avenue. You can you can sit here and look around the site all day. You're only gonna see Saks on Fifth Avenue. Um, you know, for a few weeks it might change up eventually, but right now, you you, you we're going to sneakers. Saks on Fifth Avenue. Saks on Fifth Avenue. Oh no, I got one name. I don't know who else advertises here. Guess what? They make print versions of all this shit. Not only that, where is it at? Somewhere around here. Uh, on a lot of the... Uh, doo -doo -doo. Oh, I think this is just their like digital media kit. Anyway, for... 
you know, some other, some other, uh, like people, people magazine, not the one I, I showed, but like the, the, the U S one, they'll show you how much it costs to be on the inside of the, the front cover. Uh, how much it costs to be on the back cover, how much it costs to be on the inside of the back cover, how much for a full page ad, how much for a half page ad. So you can see, you can go out, what does this cost? $22 for this thick ass magazine that I got like four months ago and I haven't even like read yet. Um, you can just go out and buy the shit or buy a magazine in your industry. Go, go, if you're a coin collector, you can find coin collector magazines or like price guides and then, then there, there'll be ads. And you sit there, you go, okay, John Varvatos, Stone Island, Nordstrom, Carhartt, um, Balenciaga and Puma and Gucci and, you know, all these, all these brands. That's how you can sit there and find out exactly who you, who you can reach out to and say, hey, I have this website. I, I, you can, you can, like, this is not, this is not a lesson in copywriting right now. This is, this is, you're, you're going to have to figure that out depending on your industry, depending on your niche. Um, the language you use will be, you know, much different. Um, but you can sit here, you can look at magazine, go, go, go to Walmart, spend $4 on a men's health magazine. If you're in the health and fitness and you have 80% uh, men are going to your website, you can go get the magazine and say, okay, this supplement's advertising in here. This supplement's advertising. Oh, this one, this one. I've never heard of that one, but they're advertising. Maybe I should go check them out, see what they're about. And that's how you know. That's how you find out who's already paying money to be advertised or to, yeah, to have their advertisements on different mediums. They'll probably, I mean, I'm not probably, but they, they're, they're more likely to respond positively to outreach saying hey i have this website here's you, you make a one page you say here's how much traffic we're getting here's what the people like that were 25 to 34 men who you know are, are deep into bodybuilding or whatever you say here's here's our spots that we offer bomb bomb, bomb whatever leaderboard 15 dollars cpm sidebar 350 by 350 25 dollars cpm um do we have an email list of four thousand people so, you know, you can send that or you include that in there if you buy a whole monster, whatever the case is, whatever you want to sell it as. Um, obviously, you know, we're looking at this, it's a high, this is a high fashion industry. So I don't think they're going to really uh, look at, you know, your, your, your 2000 a month that you want them to spend for 50,000 views as even worth it. But you can, you could, you could, they, they might, depending on the industry, 50,000 could be, Paltry could be whatever doesn't matter. It could be game changing. So, I, I think that's that's about it. I'll probably make a video after this, or some point in the next few days, talking about outreach and how to find emails and all this. This is all like just learning how to Google well um, to make this shit easier. I guess like you learn how to Google well, you can find a lot of information pretty easily. Um, I know earlier they like this example and all this stuff just like I think there's there's another like operator that I usually use but uh, this this suffices you know you can sit here and see you know a damn you find a media kit what's I don't even know what net a porter is probably another no nope. six million women watch browse and shop every month Look at that, they got, oh, it's 170,000 household income, blah, blah, average annual spend on fashion, 22,000. So they're, they're saying, this is this is them selling their audience, saying, hey, this is what the people do here. You know, here's where they're from, USA, UK, Australia, Canada, all over the place. We got all these options. Digital, do, 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 do. Rate card for digital. 75 not even damn uh usd pounds i think that's pounds is it pounds i don't know uh 75 out of us currency which i'm pretty sure the conversion rate is like 0.8 to for every 0.8 for every dollar us is 0.8 i think it's pounds i don't know if it's pounds or not i'm gonna feel like an idiot if it's not pounds uh so it's actually probably like closer to like 93 
uh, dollars US CPM because they're just they're, they're women's fashion they got they're, they're you know twenty two thousand dollars in spend every 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 year so people know that okay I'm gonna be char I'm gonna be charging or I'm gonna be paying more but these are people that buy clothes or buy coins or buy fish or whatever whatever your niche is whatever you're interested in. even if you're b2c um or b2b it works both ways if you're a local thing or a local kind of place same thing um here they have you go to like uh any kind of I'm trying to think not gas station but not really convenience store you go to any kind of like shop or whatever in the front they'll usually have like a display of all these like local magazines um for you know the metropolitan area so to speak so you go you go grab one of each of those and you just look see who's already advertised and you go oh oh bob and joe's uh fish tackle shop they're 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 paying or they're they're advertising this magazine you go just send an email to the website whatever it is for the local place you go hey uh, i'm just requesting a media kit uh, if you don't have one, if you have like the rates, um, blah blah blah, you don't have to like lie and say I want to do some advertising. Just say, I'm, hey, I want to do a media, or I'm looking at your media kit. I'll probably send it to you, and then you look at it and you go, okay, well, I can tell just by looking at a the media kit and three the sad that Bob and Joe's Fish Tackle Shop, shop is paying five hundred dollars a month to advertise in uh, four hundred four magazine. I don't know if Atlanta has that, but four hundred four magazine. And then, you know, Atlanta Weekly or so whatever. The, what, I don't know why I'm picking Atlanta. I just happen to know the area code off the top of my head. Um, so you can sit there and go, okay, these are this This is my... You you run 404magazine.com or you, not magazine.com. Like you run Atlanta, uh, a new site for Atlanta. And you post on there every day about business and all, this other, all these other happenings in Atlanta. You could sit there and pick up those magazines and go, all right. Bob and Joe, Joe and Bob, whatever, they pay 500 bucks a month based on the media kit and what they have in the magazine for this spot. They'll probably buy, you know, online space. These aren't, you know, it's not just like reaching out like, hey, I got a, I got a website. You want to buy some shit? No, you're, you're, these, are, these are companies that are already paying money um, at different publications, just not yours yet. So, uh, God damn, it's 22 minutes. I feel like I, I kind of started, it went well, kind of reached back, gave the whole gamut again, a little review. Uh, if there's any questions, let me know. Um, like I said, probably do another video sometime about like how to find emails if they're not kind of public or whatever. Um, so yeah, take care.